Dear students, once again welcome to this video class. In this video, we are discussing about a chapter from class 10 science that is life process. The important concept of this chapter is how urine is formed in nephrons. Also, the three stages of urine formation that is glomerulus filtration, selective reabsorption and tubular secretion. Dear students, in this slide, we are going to discuss about what are nephrons and what is the structure of nephron. Dear students, first you observe at your right side of the screen. So this is the structure of one nephron. So such millions of nephrons are present in each kidney. That means the millions of nephrons are present in the medulla region of the kidney. So these nephrons filter the blood and removes the nitrogen waste from the blood. That's why the nephrons are called as the structural and functional units of the kidneys. Now let's understand about the structure of the kidney that is the important parts of the kidney. First you observe that this diagram. So this is a cup shaped structure. So this structure is called as Bowman capsule. So from the Bowman capsule there is an elongated and coiled tube like structure is moving down. So this is called as the nephron tubule. Nephron tubule. So this nephron tubule is connected to the a collecting duct. So this is a collecting duct which collects the urine from all the, from different nephrons. Also at the base of the nephron you can find a U-shaped structure. This is called Henley's loop or loop of Henley. Dear students, first you observe this diagram. Each nephron is connected by two types of blood vessels. So first you observe here, this is the one blood vessel which is connecting to the nephron. So this is the another blood vessel which is emerging from, which is coming from the nephron. So this is called as the branch of renal artery which brings the blood into the Bowman capsule. And this is called as the branch of renal vein which brings the blood from the nephron. See, this, uh, renal, this branch of renal vein brings the filtered blood from the nephron to the renal, renal veins. At the same time, the tubular coiled structure which is nearer to the, which is nearer to the Bowman capsule, it is called as PCT, that is proximal convoluted tubule. In the same way, there is another coil which is away from the Bowman capsule. So this tubule is called as the distal convoluted tubule DCT. At the same time, this, each nephron is connected to the connected to a, a another structure called as the collecting duct. That means the nephron brings the urine into the collecting duct. So these are all the important parts of the nephron. Dear students, now discuss about how exactly nephrons filter the blood and removes the nitrons waste from the kidneys. So you know that this is the image of the one nephron. As you know that, so this is the Bowman capsule. Now at your side you can notice another Bowman capsule. This is the magnified structure of the Bowman capsule. So each Bowman capsule is connected by a blood vessel called as the renal artery or the branch of renal artery. So this is also called as the afferent arteriole. Now the blood moves into the, into the Bowman capsule through the afferent arteriole. So inside the Bowman capsule, you can find the branches of the blood vessels. That means a fine network of the blood vessels. So this is called as the glomerulus. Now the blood enters the Bowman capsule with the high pressure. As the blood enters into the Bowman capsule with the high pressure, the glomerulus filters the blood. So this is called as the glomerulus filtration. So after the glomerulus filtration, what happens? The waste products and the useful products, they move down to the Bowman capsule. That means 
all the nitrogen's waste and the useful things they move down and they rush into the uh, tubule of the nephron now the filtered blood the blood which is filtered in the glomerulus now that this blood moves out of the bowman capsule and it is slowly moves to, moves out of the bowman capsule through the efferent arteriole so this efferent arteriole branches into a fine network of the blood capillaries and spread over the nephron tubule dear students now observe the diagram at your right side after the glomerulus filtration in the bowman capsule you know that the filtrate that means the mixture of all the useful substances and all the nitrous waste it is move into the the tubule of the nephron now the filtrate containing the useful substances like glucose amino acids water salts also the waste products like urea uric acid some excess salts are moving in the tubule of the nephron as this filtrate is moving along the tubule of the nephron the blood vessels which are surrounded the tubular nephron they reabsorb the useful substances into the blood that means the glucose the amino acids the necessary salts and necessary water it is enters into the blood so this is called as the selective reabsorption that means the blood vessels absorbs the useful substances from the tubular nephron now finally this filtrate contains only the nitrogen waste products like urea uric acid excess water and unnecessary salts so this mixture it is moving along the tubule uh, along the tubule of the nephron so finally what happens if any harmful substances present in the blood in the cap blood capillaries those blood capillaries secretes the harmful substances into the tubular tubule of the nephron so this is called as the tubular secretion that means the blood containing any harmful substances they are secreted into the tubule of the nephron so finally the mixture of excess water urea and uric acid this mixture is called as urine now this urine it is moving away from the nephron and this urine is moves into the collecting duct so this is the collecting duct which collects the urine from different nephrons so finally this collecting duct delivers the urine into the pelvis of the kidneys finally to the ureters to the urinary bladder and finally the urine is excreted out through the urethra dear students like in this way our nephrons filters the blood in the kidneys and removes the nitrogen waste from the body so this is this is all about structure and the function of the nephrons dear students for the further videos please subscribe this video and get more information about this science chapters thank you for watching this video